Hi guys, uh, my name is Peter, I'm with Gamma, and I'm super excited to be here today to chit chat with you guys about uh, how we're gonna be able to reduce inventory and how we're gonna be able to reduce the amount of times you have to train your technicians who are doing your installs for your DAS builds or other types of builds. So what does that mean? Gamma has introduced a, a connector cable stripper combo that works with multiple different types of cable and that has one tool and one connector that can be used, for example, on Comscope, RFS, and Gamma Cable. Now this is a big deal, knowing that in the industry right now, there's a lot of supply issues with cable. So that said, I'd love to jump right into it to teach you guys how we cut, strip, and terminate the, this, uh, these cables. I'm gonna show you our cable stripping tool, which is amazing. And I'm gonna show you some little techniques on how to cut cable, which I think will make uh, the install process even better. So the first thing I wanna do is kind of suit up with my safety gear. So uh, I prefer to get a pair of gloves on, make sure I don't cut or hurt my hands or my fingers. The second thing I'm gonna do is get my safety goggles on. And then I'm gonna kind of jump right into it. So uh, what I've got right here is an RFS cable. This is a half inch plenum copper RFS cable. So cutting cable is a little bit tricky. All right, a lot of guys like to use cutters like this. This is a Klein cutter. We did some modifications to it, which uh, for our cable and our purposes make it cut a little bit better than what most Klein cutters look like, but usually they're a lot thicker than this. They do a good job at cutting, but they're not very square. And that kind of poses a problem when you're trying to terminate cable. So what do we prefer to do? Uh, we actually recommend uh, what comes with our cable stripping kit is, is a, a pipe cutter. This is a, a really simple little, little pipe cutter that can be used um, on any cable that you're cutting. And what you wanna do is just make sure that you're in the valley. That's, that's, that's the important part. So, you just sort of grab and squeeze, and you're gonna be going around the cable, like so. And it gives you a pretty square cut, as you can see right there. That looks pretty good. Okay, so the good thing about this is it's really light. It can be taken with you when you're up on a ladder when you're doing installs in sort of odd places. The bad part about it is that um, it, if you gotta do like 50 or 100 cuts, it's gonna be a little challenging. So we've cut our cable right here. The other option to cut cable, uh, that's the first RFS cable we cut. The other option we've got, we've got this rigid cutter. Okay, this is a three inch blade rigid cutter. I really like this cutter. This is a great way to cut cable because you can cut 100 times and you can still keep cutting. It also has a nice guard right here, which protects the blade. It also is a good way to use it to kind of center and hold your cable in place when you're cutting your cable. So I, we uh, previously already terminated this uh, gamma cable right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it just to show you guys how easy and how simple it is to cut using this rigid three inch cutter. You can get one of these from Home Depot or you can get them online. They range about 125 to 150 bucks. Uh, they come with a great battery that can get, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of cuts on it that will last you pretty much all morning, uh, depending on how much you're cutting. So I'm gonna go ahead and blaze away and cut this cable right here. So again, you wanna make sure that you're cutting in the valley. That's the important part. There you go, it's that simple. So again, it gets you a pretty square cut. Hopefully you guys can see that. If it's a little bit of an angle, it's not a big deal, but as long as it's square. All right. Uh, now, the next, the next step is gonna be, we're gonna decide how you're gonna use the cable stripper. So this is the body of the Gamma cable stripper. It comes with multiple parts. This is the body. You've got three different bushings. One's a 650, 630, and 620. Depending on what cable you've got, you've got to match it to the right bushing. So lucky me today, the 650 actually works with the RFS uh, copper cable, and it also works with the gamma aluminum cable. 
Okay? So, um, what you're going to do is we're going to use the T-handle first, and then we're going to switch over to the drill. So, once you pick the right bushing, which is the 650, we're going to pop that in there. Next thing you do is take your screwdriver, tighten that up. Oh, make sure it's in all the way before I tighten it up. There we go. All right, and now I'm gonna pop the T-handle on, like so, okay? So once that T-handle's on, you're gonna take your Allen wrench, and you're gonna just tighten this up, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do first, I'll go ahead and strip this uh, gamma cable by hand, okay? So basically you just give it a good push. The tool's gonna do all the work for you. You're gonna see the parts kind of fall out there and it will stop all by itself. So that's the other big point is that uh, it stops all on its own. So that lets you know as far as you've gotta go. So if you look at this strip right here, you can see it actually was a really good strip. You see three valleys, that's really important. You'll see a bevel tip and you'll see a flare on the end there. And that flare is very important. With your cable stripper, okay, uh, just so you know, it comes with the, the T-handle, the body, three bushings. It also comes with a, a pick, right? This pick you can use to clean out any excess parts, any excess strip, strips, dielectric, any other uh, cable, cable shearings that are in your cable stripper. That's important because you don't want it to get all gummed up, okay? So we did one good strip. Let's jump to another. And I'm gonna use the drill on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and again use the Allen wrench. Loosen it up, pull the T-handle off. Now the same, the same tool is gonna to slide right into my drill. Now the drill you wanna use, which is actually really important, I wanna make sure I mention that, is a high torque drill. It's got controlled speeds, okay? The reason why that's so important is because you don't want to strip this cable at too high, of a, too high of a rate. Okay, you don't need to strip super fast, but you do need the power behind it. So that's why you have to have high torque, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the RFS cable right here with the drill. So you can see I have the same bushing. So again, we use the same, same tool, same bushing, and we're able to accomplish something really cool, which you can see here, there's three valleys. That third valley is still visible. You've got a flare, and you've got a nice bevel tip. That is a really, really good looking strip. You can also see how fast it was. So what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and take a gamma connector, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and install a gamma connector on an RFS cable. So I take the O-ring and slide the O-ring on. It sets in the third valley. I'll show you guys that again. So O-ring's in the third valley. It's important that you see that, okay? From here, I'm gonna unscrew the connector. And I've got the base part of the connector, which is right here. And this is gonna slide over. Okay. And when you slide over, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it kind of seat in properly and kind of like pop in place. And then you can push forward. And the way, the way you know it's in there right is it doesn't pop off. Okay. If the event that this the uh, bottom part pops off when you push up against it, you know you did something a little wrong. The best way to do it is just go ahead and cut and then strip all over again, okay? And then from here, what you wanna do, is go ahead and just twist the top part of your connector on, all right? After you've hand tightened it, the next thing you need to do is just take a pair of wrenches like this Take two wrenches. I'm going to 
hold it out for you just like this. And you just twist around until it gets nice and tight. Whoops. And once it gets nice and tight, you just connectorized the RFS cable. So the same process is used for your gamma cable, which we put on another, the same end connector on a gamma cable on this side. You did that previously. So what does this mean? Why is this so important? Why is this such a big deal for you and for your team? You can use one connector on gamma, on gamma cable, aluminum or copper, RFS copper, RFS aluminum, Comscope copper, Comscope aluminum. That's six different cables that you can use this on. You can also use it on Gamma's outdoor cable as well, which is our half inch annular cables that you can run outdoor from your donor antenna into your, into your system on your, on your cable there. Now that said, that's a big deal because then you can use one connector, one cable stripper, train your guys one time on how to, how to implement and install this. Not only does it install faster, they just need to use one connector and one cable stripper. I think that's really a big deal. It will help save you guys on inventory. It will reduce training and hiccups on training, uh, reduce the amount of training and how many times you gotta train your guys on how to install. Not only that, we found that our customers implementing our cutting system, our cutting approach actually increased their, their uh, law, uh, reduced their loss, increased their install time and incre increased performance of their networks. It's a great solution. Uh, you guys gotta try it out. I really, really lo love it and um, it's gonna revolutionize the industry. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one.